Hello everyone. We are going to start sexual reproduction now. So sexual reproduction is the kind of reproduction in which two different parents, one is called male and other is called female, are required. Okay. So sexual reproduction always occur with the help of two germ cells, male germ cell and female germ cell. These germ cells are also called as gametes. They are also called as beta gamete. Female gamete and the male gamete. Female gamete is from female parent and male gamete is from male parent. These are nothing but the two germ cells. Okay, female germ cell, okay, it is nothing but the egg cell and male germ cell is called as sperm. Or we can say sperm carries male germ cell and egg cell carries the female germ cell. <laughs> Sorry, two male, uh, two main processes occur in sexual reproduction. Very important. What are two processes? One is called gamete formation, and other is called fertilization. After fertilization, development of new one takes place. Okay, so first one is called beta gamete formation. So gametes are formed by the meiosis process. We know in meiosis process, suppose I'm taking here male germ cell in case of male, human being. So we know human being contain total 46 chromosome and these chromosome are present in pair. So we can say there are 23 pair and out of 23 pair, 22 pair of chromosomes are called as autosomes, autosomes and last pair is called as one pair. Okay, it's called as beta sex chromosome. Why? Because the last set of chromosome decides whether the new one is going to be boy or girl. It decides the sex of the baby. That's why it is called as sex chromosome. So can we write that 23 pair as 22 plus X and Y in case of male and 22 plus X, X in case of female. Okay, so here we have the number of chromosome is double. Here we have number of chromosome is double. So these cells are called as beta diploid cell. Diploid cell. What a diploid cell? The cell which contain two n set of chromosomes. Understood? The cell which contain two n set of chromosome are called as diploid cell. So they are called a beta germ cell. Germ cell. These germ cell are going to divide by meiosis process. Meiosis is the type of cell division. Cell division. Okay. It is a kind of cell division called meiosis. So I'm writing here meiosis. Okay. So in meiosis process, the cell division takes place where the new cells are formed having half the number of chromosome. That means that 22 and XY will going to separate. Okay, so now here we have two gametes. So here we have 11 pair of chromosome and plus X. Okay, see this is called a beta pair or instead of 22, we can write 22 into two will be 44 chromosome. Here also 44 chromosome. Here, see, now we have taken chromosome, not the pair. So here we can write 22 plus X, uh, sorry, Y and 22 plus X. So these are the gametes produced by the male germ cell. Okay, everyone. Now, okay. in, in case sir, of- Sir, you wrote 44, no, sir. See, 44 means number of chromosome we in our cell beta we have total 46 chromosome okay but yes, they sir. are present yes. in pair they are present in pair always so in pair yes, we sir. can write 23 pair okay is it? No, sir. first you wrote 22 that's why i asked yes uh, we i have i was written there in pair form okay but now we have written in individual chromosome form okay sir so 44 in 46 chromosome, 44 will be autosomes and 
two like x and y it is the com x and x it is combination of female and x and y is the combination of male okay so now we have see here you can see if we will compare the parent germ cell and this uh, cell the chromosome number has decreased to half is it or not is it everyone keep replying yes sir yes so here the chromosome number see here the chromosome number set was having two the two n set of chromosome but here we only n set means it has reduced to half that means they are called as haploid cell haploid cell haploid cell means the cell having half the number of chromosomes okay are called as haploid cell and here they are having two n set of chromosome that was they, that's why they are diploid so i hope you have understood what is diploid and haploid okay everyone yes yes sir any doubt here no sir no sir now so this is the way how gametes are kaka phone na chalata this is the way how gametes are formed okay so just do remember gametes are formed by the process called meiosis so in meiosis chromosomes number is reduced to half see it is also given here the chromosome number reduced to half it is called as meiosis type of cell division hence haploid gametes are formed so gametes are in haploid nature having half the number of chromosomes do mute your mic everyone your voice is disturbing okay so here we have completed how gametes are formed now next process is called as fertilization let me mute you okay now you are muted okay now we are going to understand the fertilization fertilization again the very important process after formation of gamete so uh, uh, suppose here we have male cell okay so for male we have 44 plus x and y and for female i am writing here female okay we have 44 plus xx so they are parent cell okay now they are going to form gametes okay so it will form 22 plus x and other will be 20 22 plus y so two type of gametes are formed for female we have 22 plus x see we have xx so both the gametes will be similar 22 plus x okay now suppose if that x is going to fuse with that or with that okay so we'll produce 22 and 22 will be 44 and here x and x will be xx is it here also if it is going to fuse with that one so it will again produce 22 plus xx is it or not so this is the combination for female beta female then suppose that y is going to fuse with that female gamete will produce 44 plus x y okay if again it is going to fuse with that one again it is going to form the same it is 44 plus x y that means possibility of having boy or girl is equal okay and only male gamete is responsible for that okay only the male gamete is responsible for having baby whether it is boy or girl okay so when this when these gametes are fuses when male gamete fuses with female gamete is called as fertilization okay so let understand here the diploid zygote is <laughs> suppose we have female a uh, male gamete plus female gamete they are combining together to form zygote okay that process is called beta fertilization 
okay the process of mixing of male gamete with with female gamete is called as fertilization and they form zygote okay and see here again that haploid cell this is also haploid cell when two haploid cell fuses together they form diploid cell is it so that zygote again having same the number of chromosome as their parent that's why it is diploid it is diploid cell okay everyone yes okay now the zygote divides by mitosis see here only meiosis process takes place during the formation of gamete only okay so when male gamete and female gamete form they form with the help of meiosis and suppose uh, we were very short or very like uh, our height our body weight is also less during the birth but now we are like uh, we have grown much it is due to our cell divide mitosis type of cell division to inamated our body whatever we have now okay so after the birth or during the embryonic embryonical development only mitosis type of cell division takes place for the development of body okay for the development of height length girth whatever it may be only mitosis type of cell division takes place and meiosis takes place only during the formation of gametes just do remember ha huh? everyone yes sir <clears throat> now the zygote divides by mitosis and embryo is formed okay when zygote divides and again redivides okay so multiple type of uh, multiple time cell division takes place and finally it forms embryo okay and then embryo develops into the new baby or new individual okay after fertilization two parents that is one is called male parent and other is female parent are involved in this type of reproduction that's why it is called as sexual reproduction so fusion of male gamete okay of parent with female gamete of the female parent occurs this process is called as fertilization due to this new individual always has recombinant gene of both the parent that means that new individual having 50% characters from male parent and 50% character from female parent that means that new individual is hybrid so we are hybrid of our parent okay everyone okay hence, sir yes hence the new individual so similarities so that's why we are similar because we are found from our parent so we are similar to our parent but not identical we are not mirror image of our parent do we no na are we mirror image of our yes. parent no we have differences yes 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 so this is the difference is created due to the combination of 50% character from both the parent okay so we are hybrid or we can say we are advanced than our parent hence the Some new individual so similarities with parent for some characters and has some character different than the both parent okay this okay. is nothing but the diversity okay diversity in living organism occurs due to genetic variation why what is genetic variation because two different dnas they are mixing with each other to form new dna okay to form the new generation that's why it is the genetic variation takes place here <coughs> so have you understood why genetic variation takes place because each parent contributes equal genetic characters that's why okay genetic variation helps the organism see that genetic variation is very important to adapt and adjust ourselves in the changing environment hence thereby to maintain our existence see the reproduction is the process or the we can say the life performing process which is very important to maintain our existence because we know whenever like whatever takes birth 
have to die one day okay so if reproduction will not take place that means all the organism will die one day and if no like reproduction takes place so existence of life on earth will get perish okay that's why reproduction helps to maintain their existence on earth and we have adapted ourselves due to variation only okay the genetic variation makes us more adaptive okay to adjust ourselves in changing environment so that we can perform all the life processes we can reproduce and we can maintain humans and other organisms existence also because other organism also they reproduce with the help of with the help of sexual reproduction so any doubt till here we have completed sex what is sexual reproduction here okay now we will understand in case of plant and in case of animal so if any doubt you have here just do ask the question beta everyone